welcome back to my channel my name is blessing Curry and this is B Kisses. well today we will be unboxing and setting up the Yulanzi G95 metal cage which is for the GoPro Hero 9 action camera I opted to get the G95 over the G94 because the G94 is plastic and the G95 is the metal cage I travel a lot and I just felt this would be more durable than the plastic I have seen reviews saying the plastic is um, also very sturdy but I choose to go with the metal one because metal over plastic, better safe than sorry. Well, let's check in through security. Metal just seemed like a, well, sturdier option for me. So let's get right into the unboxing. I have my Vocalark wireless microphone that we will be um, attaching to this rig. I also have my battery powered lights, which will be attaching to this rig as well. And this tripod that is amazing and I totally love right now. So yeah, I decided to use those for experimenting or seeing how efficient the G95 is in terms of handling all other things being tied to its body. Before we go, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Drop your questions in the comment section if you have questions or follow me on social media, Blessing Fury. You can check out my website, BlessingFury.com. So let's get right into it. As promised, we will be unboxing this beauty, the Yulanzi G95 action camera GoPro 9 metal cage. The box is pretty simple. I mean, it's a metal cage, so it didn't need uh, a lot of packaging because it's durable. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I got it because I travel a lot. I also have the GoPro Hero 9 Black, which we'll be using to test this cage. We have the battery powered um, lights that goes on the GoPro. We have the stand, of course, that will be attached to the cage. And my recently acquired Boyka Lark Pixel uh, wireless microphone that can be attached as well. So let's see what this has. Ooh, okay. Uh, this paper, these are stickers. Camera vlog accessories, a small brand focusing on phone photography. Yulanzi specializes in phone photography and the vlog master plan. I mean, these are just advert pieces, so let's put that aside. This are extra screws and you use this to tie the screws. I'm guessing this is an alternative just so you're able to attach different types of uh, stands to this cage. Very thoughtful. All right, so these are what come in there. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh, I missed a sticker, just the Yulanzi sticker. It comes in just one layer of bubble wrap. Uh, it's a durable metal cage, so hey, what's the point? I'm going to bust those bubbles later. So therapeutic, guys. <laughs> okay, so this is what the cage looks like. You see the G95, and it has a very solid build. Yulanzi. It comes with a cold shoe, which you could take off or you could. I mean, just leave it here. And this is for the lens. This is to house the GoPro mic adapter because you have to connect the mic to an adapter to be able to connect it to the microphone because microphones are mostly 3.5 mm and the port on the GoPro itself is USB type C. So this is, uh, we'll definitely be checking that out when we're setting up. Pretty straightforward. So this goes here and those screws that came with Will be used to fasten it but because my the tripod we'll be using has provision uh, for this screw here i'm just going to skip the screwing part and let's set up okay so this slides up open the cage door then we put this so if you're taking off the GoPro cage door to connect the wired um, microphone adapter. You could take it off and this will serve as the covering so your battery doesn't fall off. It has this nice foam here to hold the battery in place. I noticed when putting this in that the cage sort of scratched my GoPro a little around here. I don't know if you can see it. I do not know why that is. I'm just going to hope it doesn't continue scratching it because I would hate Oh, I thought to have scratches. Oh my God. Okay, so this fitted properly. I put screen guards on all the screens in my GoPro because I don't like stories that much. 
I really like my gopher. So this goes back. Ooh. All right, so this and this, just so everything else is easier from here. Okay, feels pretty sturdy. Has a remote. And uh, the good thing about this tripod also is that it has the screw, it has this inner compartment that lets you um, store phone holder and the screw for clamping it. But that's not why we're here today. Uh, that being said, what else are we putting here? Okay, so this, I already attached the cold shoe to this one. Uh, so we're just going to slide this in this way. So go in this way. Okay. Put down to hold it down for me, just, just to avoid falling. Uh, this is in tightly, all right. And this goes to the side. Ooh. All right, we're not using this for this video. So this is what the setup looks like. Ta-da! And uh, the mic cable goes in here and securely stays here. So just to make sure you don't have wires moving along. This looks like a really solid build. Let me know what you think in the comment section, guys. I definitely can't wait to take this out for a test run. And eventually, it was like you get a lens just to keep trying out the variations and options I have with the GoPro. I intend to do more traveling. So don't forget to check out the playlist titled Travel in um on my youtube channel and you can check out my website blessingcurry.com to see more on travel talk lifestyle voiceovers and oh well anything in between yeah. i did a full unboxing of the Voicall lark and i will have a review video up soon after using it a couple of times just so i'm giving you information that is tested trusted and useful so um where can you get the ylanzi g9 Five, you could get it. I got mine on AliExpress. You could get it on the official website. I've spoken a couple of times about how important certain things, um, shipping fees to Nigeria can be expensive, but AliExpress kind of cuts through it and puts you out of customs issues most times. So, they're always my go to. So, this is pretty much how it looks like it's okay to carry, the weight is basically negligible. And if you use a gimbal, camera gimbal, well this is something you would have been very used to so the good thing with this one is you could always um, adjust this bit to suit your shoot per time so I think Ulanzi has a very similar stand this was from Austin 7017 Nigeria but Ulanzi has a very similar stand um, that lets you I mean move between places and also have this legs working Ta -da! After doing further research as to why the G95 scratched the edge of my GoPro, I realized I was setting it up all wrong and have decided to show you the correct way to do it. The first step is to take out the door, the battery door here, which you can simply do by pushing this forward, pulling it out. Now, this has to be very careful so you don't break it. You push this down and hope you can see it and then you just pull it out. After taking out the door for the Hero 9 Black, you can see the USB port for charging and uh, doubles as the microphone port, uh, the memory card as well as the battery. You just let that be. Then you open this door. This is going to hold the battery in place. It's just soft man. Uh, the charging port or the mic adapters could go through this one. Then open the quick release glass door this just goes okay this is a lot smoother than the, the complaints i had about um the scratch so there's no scratch here as you can see but since you can't leave it open lest the battery falls out so this then goes in here all set then the 52 millimeter lens adapter i don't have a lens yet but when i do I will be sure to attach it. So because we've already gone over the setup, I will only be testing the mic to this. This is the cable that came with the Pixel Vocal Lock, the TRS connected TRS device. This connects to the lock. It's a little tight, so just push it in. 
because this can't fit into the part of the GoPro here, it's type C. I decided to get the Boya BYK7 um, 3.5 mm TRS, the type C male adapter, but and it's for uh, DJI for awesome action and the likes. So we connect it and see how that fits. I'll be sure to link the purchase link in the description just in case you would need this. Um, the good thing is they all have pictures. For, for the one that is for the iPhone, you see an iPhone. For the one for an Android phone, you see an Android phone. Just take note of this just to ensure that you don't buy something that's not useful to you. This comes with silica with some warranty card. And you could also check for its authenticity as written on the cover by doing the things directed here. So you're supposed to have this. Okay, it says if you coat the Boya logo on the right with water, it disappears and when it dries off, it returns. So maybe try that sometime. It's smaller than the uh, microphone adapter that GoPro has. So if this works, it's totally a game changer. So the weight of the cage itself is 272 grams, which is almost twice the weight of the GoPro because the GoPro is 158 grams, which totals to 430. So whatever stand you're putting this on, please ensure that the stand can take the weight of the setup. So this is to the TRS device, which is the GoPro in this case, and we'll be using this adapter as mentioned earlier, the Boya BYK7. Instead of just passing it, having wire dangling, we could pass it through the initial place that was created for the microphone adapter and just set it nicely here and this goes in here pretty neat maybe not perfectly neat i'll find a way to hang this but still seems pretty neat to me so once i get lenses or take this out for a spin i'll be sure to talk more about it but for now this is how the setup works. This open port battery adapter definitely works because it's very convenient. When you're done, everything just goes out nicely. The only concern I have with this is the fact that it means if you're not trying to use a microphone, you can't use this cage. So you have to take off your mic door, your GoPro door to be able to use this, which, well, has to be a con for me though. Thank you very much for watching up until this point. I hope I answered some of your questions and this video was very helpful. Drop a comment in the comment section if the video was helpful. Thumbs up if the video is helpful as well. If you have any pointers, drop it in the comment section if you have something you want me to check out. You know what to do. Drop it in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn on post notifications pretty please. <laughs> uh, till I come here next time. Bye.